Hello Virgo, welcome back. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love tarot. We're going to take a look at your next relationship, who is coming in for you. Is this a mate or is this a date that's coming in? Um, so mate being someone that you can see yourself really building something real and long term with here or is it just a date where you just you know perhaps go out on a couple of dates but you see it more as a casual encounter um, than something more serious so with that being said Virgo uh, if you enjoy this reading today feel free to leave behind a like share and subscribe uh, I will link the 2021 uh, yearly tarot overview in the show more section below. Within that read, um, you may be interested in uh, taking a look at the yearly love overview for your sign of the upcoming year. Um, but for now, Virgo, let's dive on in. These are the cards that are coming through. You've got the Mouse Spirit, the Truth card. You've got the Two of Cups. Whoops, sorry the Justice card and the Four of Cups in reverse. The signs of the person um, coming in, you've got the, with the mouse, the downward pointing triangle with the line through it is representing the element of Earth. So it could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. And with the Justice card down below here, it could be a strong Libran coming through or... Um, any of these signs in their uh, astro chart, okay? Now, first things first, let's start with the mouse. I'm getting the sense that this person that's coming in um, may already be in your environment, okay? This may be someone that's orbiting around you. Uh, you may not be aware uh, of this person right now, but I feel like they will make their appearance known okay i just get the sense that this person is around you the mouse is an energy of someone who like let, let's take a look at the mouse the mouse is in hiding okay you don't even know if the mouse is around okay because they they hide and they only come out at night you know, when it's very quiet and there's no one around. So, which tells me that this person is around you. It's just that you're not aware of their energy. You don't know that they're around you. You don't even know that they're interested in you, okay? But this person is interested. Um, but I feel like they're not revealing their identity as yet, we can see um, next to the mouse, there's the truth card, this woman, she isn't wearing a mask. So at some point, at some point, this person will reveal their identity. Um, but I'm also getting with the mouse, this is an energy of someone who is a bit of a, a perfectionist. They like to do things uh, in a particular way. And I feel Initially, upon meeting this person, I feel like um, this is your kind of person, okay? You're going to feel like a, 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 like you're on the same page. And the reason why I say that is because the Justice card, this woman is holding a, a set of scales and they're balanced. So initially, upon meeting this person, you're going to like what you see. You're going to, you're going to like parts of their character okay you feel like this person um is being honest with you i feel like you like that they can just uh be vulnerable and be themselves with you because this woman she's not wearing this mask the mask is off of her face and you might really like this person's straight up honesty. Um, I feel like this person may be very, um, quite an honest and upfront person because even with the justice, this woman is, she's holding a sword upright. So she has no problems in delivering the truth. But I feel, um, I feel, Virgo, as time goes on and as you get to know this character, 
okay, I feel that you're going to really begin to notice the, the many differences. You've got the Two of Cups here and it comes in reverse. And when the Two of Cups is in this position, it's telling me that this is about two people that are not on the same page. Okay, they have different belief systems, they have different values, uh, there may be a clash of interests here, uh, maybe one of you wants something more long term, the other one wants something more casual, um, you know, because uh, with the Four of Cups in the reverse, this is someone who's not interested in anything casual, okay? And because in the upright, this is someone who's not interested, okay? They're not interested in the little bits that they're receiving here. They're interested in depth. They're interested in something more. And I feel that upon getting to know this person, Virgo, I actually feel that you're, you're wanting two different things. You're wanting something more serious. They want something more, more casual, okay? Um, you may really admire um, their, their posturing, okay? You may really admire that this person can be straight up honest and just speak their truth and be okay with being vulnerable, but on the other hand, it tells me here with the mouse that this person may want to keep your connection um, hidden from others. Uh, this may be someone who, I have to say this, this is, uh, I have to say that this person sort of doesn't even want to be caught being with you. And it's got nothing to do with you. It's just that this person doesn't want to appear like they are in a relationship. Okay, this person carries non-committal energy. I don't feel like this person that's coming into your life is ready for a relationship. I just feel like initially upon meeting, there's going to be some similarities there or there's just going to be, this person's going to have some character traits that you really admire and that will, that will initially draw you in. But I feel with the justice card here that this situation it might even be a situation ship, okay? This, situ this situation ship will correct itself. Justice does speak to lessons. And I feel like this person is coming in more as a date than a mate. And maybe just to bring in a few lessons, okay? I don't feel like these are harsh lessons. I just feel like these are little lessons. These are little like takeaways you can take away um, from this connection that you can um, apply um, when it comes to looking for a future mate, okay? Um, but I do have to say with the Two of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups here, this is you, Virgo, saying, no, no, we're, we're not wanting the same things, okay? Um, there's, a, there's definitely a clash of interest here and yeah, I think, I think Virgo, you're going to be making it known um, with this person that this is ultimately not what you want or someone here is going to make it known that this is not what they want. Okay, um, <clears throat> there's just misleading energies I'm feeling coming through here with this person. It could be too with this person, um, they could be, they could be just recovering from a breakup with someone as well. And I mean, just even them talking to you about this, you know, I come from, 
a relationship where it didn't work out, maybe them being open and honest with you about this, it kind of makes them feel a bit vulnerable or it creates like this bond between you and this person. But you later realize um, that they're not ready to give to the connection with you because of this past relationship here. So Virgo, that's all I've got for you today. I do hope you enjoyed this reading and until next time, guys, take care and I'll speak to you soon.